for the most part, I started seeing like I had songs like Crip Lives Matter. Tiptoe, crypto, on my tiptoe. Blue pit, see the pits, watch me get low. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like I that. Think you, you did, you, but but early on, you and YG, y'all did some stuff yeah. together. You ain't never had a thug. You ain't never had a thug. Put it all night till you had a thug. You ain't never had a thug. What's yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you guys first, uh, when you first linked up with uh, Adam mm -hmm. and you went over there, what was that all about? Like, how did that even happen? Um, it was just no expectations. Like, I ended up, I ended up running into Adam at uh, my guy O3 Greedo's video shoot. Okay, him and Max O'Cream was from Houston. Um, I went to the video shoot. Shout out Max O'Cream. Yeah, shout out Max. How long ago was that? This was like 2018, I believe. Okay, That's hard. 2018. Yeah, and. At the time, like, you know, I heard his name. My little brother put me on. He was like, this guy is the one that's, you know, he's doing all the interviews with the rappers, and they're blowing up. So everybody in the city wanted an interview. So I ran up to him at the video shoot, and I was like, hey, introduce myself. I was like, hey, man, let's do an interview. So he's like, I got you. And I ended up um, doing an interview with him just, just as a rapper. Um, we had a great time. It was funny. Like, a lot of great conversation. Like, it's you know, it's still on YouTube right now. Um yeah, it was dope, and then dope. I guess I left an impression on him, um, and I want to say maybe six months later, he was like, hey, we want to test out some things and doing all this, and at the time, I'm not thinking of, like, podcasting. No, no, no. I'm not thinking, like, oh, I want to do podcasting, or I want to be this in this space. Like, I'm thinking, like, okay, I'm a rapper. If it's a situation that can help expand my music and get me more eyes, then I'm down, so... I went and I did like this test pilot for some type of content. And then I, I, they probably didn't hit me back to like three months later. And um, quarantine had happened. So, you know, at, at first Adam hit me. He was like, he got a Snapchat show. He was like, he think I'd be good for it. And I was like, I said, I'll try it out. Like, I ain't tripping. I was like, in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to do this full time, though, because to me, it takes away from the music side of things. So I was like, I never wanted it to, to take it away from the music side. So um, once I started doing the Snapchat stuff, I was like, all right, you know, it was cool. And then quarantine happened. Everything, Everything shut, shut down. down. You ain't got nowhere to go. Ain't no rap mm -hmm. shows. It ain't nothing. So everything shut down. I'm like, I'm like, okay. I just kept going back. It was it was convenient, close to my house. And I just kept doing that. And I just noticed, started noticing like different race people coming up to me. Because before this, like, people wouldn't, you know, mm -hmm. street background and stuff, people, would, you know, they would be scared to come talk to you. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, you know, later they'll hit you up on, on DM, like, hey, I seen you at the, what's the call? I'm like, man, why you say nothing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's the type of aura that I was giving out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that. Yeah. So I looked and at And you knew that? Did you knew I that? I knew that, though. And because a lot of, like, a lot of my older music, it's a lot of, like, street, game banging, Compton type stuff. And yeah. I, I'm thinking, that, and, and now I can, you know, honestly say um, I came to a roadblock to where I was like, you know what, am I putting the right message out there to the youth? Because if I'm sitting here, you know, moving on in life, living, you know, living better and doing things, progressing, and I'm taking care of my kids and I'm doing that, but I'm making street songs. And, you know, sometimes so people, live. yeah, sometimes people will tell me like, oh, man, you make me want to go shoot up something. Yeah. Maybe. And I'm like, that ain't the type of energy that I want to give across. Like, I'm a genuine good dude. Yeah. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like to uplift people. Yeah. I don't like to, you know, if it's some type of confrontation, I always, my grandma always taught me like, hey, if, let's try to, you know, rectify the situation. If we can't, then we can get to this and yeah. everything else. But for the most part, I started seeing like I had songs like Crip Lives Matter. Tiptoe, crypto, on my tiptoe. Blue pit, see the pits, watch me get low. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like I that. Think you, you did, you, but but early on, you and YG, y'all did some stuff yeah. together. You ain't never had a thug. You ain't never had a thug. Put it all night till you had a thug. You ain't never had a thug. Mm -hmm. Like being from, uh, from, from, from that side, yep. you know, at the end of the day, it was like, okay, you know, at the you know you, you I understand but you grew you got older yeah. too during the process so I think that's some because when a lot of my partners get locked up a lot of time people come home they be like he changed well he was gone for five years or he was gone for four years or if you just growing up and coming into your greatness 
yeah, you're going to feel like that. And there's nothing wrong with transformation, man, and evolution, right? So I think that's live, bro. Like, And I think that even though you you see what you was going through and you see those people coming to you, that's just God picking at you saying, mm-hmm. man, you're moving to the next level, man. That's hard, bro. Yeah, my, and, and my grandmother, she would have, you know, like I had, I had both sides. My grandmother, she was beautiful angel on earth always taught me somebody steal from you you know they probably need it more than you do yeah. and mm-hmm. um always forgive people the importance of family and i didn't get it I, you know I, I rebelled against that at a young age so i didn't like want to hang with my family like that i was outside in the streets with my homeboys mm-hmm. and i i felt like at the time i probably put my friends more above family and then as i got older i was like damn family is really all that you really have mm-hmm, people mm-hmm. that nigga can switch up on you and things can happen and yeah man my grandma she told me that so i i had her heart but you know i'm going outside i gotta adapt yeah because yeah. my homeboys hey we into this we into this we yeah, into that yeah can't yeah. go over here can't go over there and they didn't understand that mm, mm. but the, the the thing is man like I said, again, having that foundation is so mm-hmm. important, man. And 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 I think that's so live, man. I, I really, like I said, I think with you going over there, just as much as you said that a no jumper, basically, before Adam 22, like for him, for you, like you said, things changed when you went over there as far as people start coming up to you. I believe that the other side also start coming up to him and it start respecting him because of you. So because of your of your blackness, to be honest with you, and y'all being so div- like people like you, like yeah. you probably never would have spoke to the nigga if it wasn't for him. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. So yeah. that's the way it be. And it's a good it's a win win. So it, it is a win to me. In that. To me it's a combo of things though. Correct. Because at one point, yes, he's getting his interviews off, but on the other end, like, we don't have no real platform in Los Angeles that yeah. you could just go other than the radio, yeah, which like you're one percent that gets to go to the radio. So you know, in the same sense, yeah, you can say that. But I'm giving, I'm gonna give respect to say like it's a platform. Yeah. That you know, people from our communities, whether right or wrong, for better or for worse, get to go out there and get some exposure. So to me, that was the dope part. Of I it. think that's dope too. But yet and still, with you being over there, it brings a whole aura mm-hmm. that where people feel comfortable going over there. I gotta say that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That that's right. gonna turn it up. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest, and it's gonna turn it up in a way to where did you and and I'm gonna ask this and I'm gonna let you talk because I know you're looking <laughs> at it. Did you did you feel like you was making a difference when you was doing it? Yeah, because you know now people are coming up to me instead of saying, "Hey, you you turn me up when I'm doing this." They're like, "Bro, you bringing you help bringing joy to my life." That's hard. You funny. You you know what I'm saying? You, I'm getting I'm getting respected for my personality now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.